here folks, it's Shirley Young from Hand Me Shirley here, thanks for coming on to my channel and thanks to all my new subscribers and my um, existing subscribers, really do appreciate your support and I hope you're enjoying watching what I'm putting up. So yesterday I was just um, looking through some of my old die cuts um, and thinking about what ones I perhaps could get rid of, sell or something or give away um, and I found this very old Cherry Lynn die which, oh golly, sorry folks <laughs> which is mini playing cards now I got this oh years ago when I started card making so I don't know if it's still available but that's what I've used and I decided to make a little card, so this is what I made. Because I don't make many masculine type cards. And I thought this perhaps would be, I suppose it could be unisex right enough. Um, but I thought maybe it could be a masculine birthday card. So I just, I just went ahead and made this. And I thought it was quite simple but quite effective. So I'm going to come on again and do a similar card. So I've got all my pieces cut out because I just feel that it would take too much time to cut this all out on camera um, and the, the video would go on for ages so and then folk might get bored so I've um, cut all these I've cut the die cuts out um, so anyway that's how they come and there's four there's a uh, two of clubs Three of hearts, five of spades and a seven of diamonds. And I've already cut my matte layers. Now the last time I made it with silver, white and black with the white base. This time I'm going to use gold, black and it's a kind of cappuccino coloured base which was a piece of card for from Carnation Crafts which I've got in my stash. And also these were ones I've got in my stash but I always try and put everything I've used in the description bar. I've got a couple of bits to back on. I've got red Murray for this time for the um, diamonds and the hearts. So I'll show you how I did that and then I've got some extra black card just for the clubs and the spades. And then we will back them as well, just like I did there with this time with gold. That time I did it with silver. And the red there was just a piece of matte cardstock. I didn't aim. And I did emboss these edges just to give it a wee bit more texture. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do anything on this. I might just do some scoring in it with my um, scoreboard somewhere nearby yes I see it so I think I might do some embossing scores onto that today so the card base is roughly I'm going to do it in centimeters today I don't usually do it in centimeters but it's 12 and a half squared this gold layer is 12 squared and the black layer is 11 and a half okay so that's there so what I did just to get my backing of each of the colors was I just simply put some wet glue onto the die cuts of the cards ah, I didn't mean to do that but I have to put it there now So just, I mean, you could use any, you could even make it a rainbow type. I'll just put it on there because I've already got glue. So you could make it any colour if you were doing this particular thing, if you wanted. But I think just to make it the traditional red and black. But I suppose if you wanted to jazz it up, you could put any colours at the back, just as a, you know, a sort of alternative 
way of doing it. There's lots of different ways you could do it. So, just leaving a wee space between them. And try not to... There we go. And then the black ones, well, probably don't need that amount of black, so we'll just cut a piece off. Put the rest in my drawer. And then just, it's just the same, just popping wet glue. I would put wet glue on because any, unless it's, it's really, really sticky, um, tape runner or something it might come off and you don't want you know that to come off if you're giving it away as a card to a friend or family you don't want it to come apart so yep try not to get the glue on it like me so this glue is really good I really like it. it's nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I really like it because the fact of the nozzle as well so you can do some really quite intricate stuff with it as well um, and it dries clear most most glues do dry clear but yeah this one I just really like it it's really I find it a good glue Um, yeah, and then once you've done that, what I did was cut up the side and I just cut right up to the card because I don't want the black really appearing through at the edge, if you know what I mean, because I'm going to obviously back it with the gold. So trying to get as close to the edge possible and then there's a kind of curved corner here like that. I don't know if I can get any closer maybe I've got a bit maybe one more wee bit there so that's more or less as close as possible so get rid of that so that's one card get rid of the rubbish and then the same for this one so just staying as close as possible to um, the edge trimming a bit of your hair still got a wee bit black there that will do for that one get rid of that so. and then the red ones I'll just put that to the side just now um, the red just the same going up as close to, as possible to the edge um, let's do these two that way we'll save a bit of time A slightly weak curve on them. Just at the corner there. And then this one. Mm 
Um, it's still got a bit here. Let's see if I can cut that off. That's better. So, just got rid of that. And I'm just going to actually wipe my board because it feels a bit tacky. Probably needs a wee bit of a wash, an actual proper wash in the soapy water or something. And that, that will help me a wee bit. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to pop this onto here. So we've got an even a, a backing going round. Now, there's a couple of these I probably could trim. So let's just trim it down slightly. I don't want to really go over the white card if I can help it. Just a tiny wee bit. I think that'll do. I don't really want to go too far in because I'll end up with a disaster of some description when me. So you can see the nice kind of miri in the reds and then it's just matte in the black. So, same thing really. Just then layer these onto the gold. Just gives it a bit of a nicer finish, I think, to um, the card. So, pop that there. Like so. And then you want to kind of leave a space because you obviously want to have a um, gold border round. Um, so you want to leave a space in between, so there's plenty of cut and room, like that, and then probably won't get them all on this sheet but that's okay, that one's a bit, needs a bit more of a trim, and just round here, there we go. And then I'll do this last one on here. So this one on the corner here. Like that. I just don't want that muddy card getting. Wipe that away. <laughs> Should be fine. That's the only thing about mirror card or mirror card, whatever you want to call it. You have to watch, you don't get too much on it, too much like glue or whatever. Right, so the next thing is I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to cut it like that first and then I'll cut it all more much more neatly and chop that up we'll chop it neatly in a minute and then we can put the card together in the bin, keep that bit for something, I use it in there. Right, so I just want to get a bit closer and just leave a tiny border round like we did here, bring this one to a screenshot so you can see, oh, oh dear, I'm stuck to my nail. Right, this one needs a bit more cutting upside. 
and then I've just ground off the corner a bit because that's kind of what the card does. Just open that up a bit because that's a bit. There we go. Just kind of round the corner slightly. There we go. That's one done. So I'll come back on when I've cut these, okay? So you don't have to watch me. Right, I'm back now. So I've cut all these out, I've backed them and I've popped them all on. So they're fine, they're ready. And I've got this little piece for a sentiment like this one to go on. And then what I'm going to do with the black card now, so if I just put all these to the side, I want to, instead of embossing like I did on there, I'm going to do some embossed lines using my scoreboard. So, I've got, so you have to, so what you have to do is, if you use this particular method, you obviously butt it up to the side or the middle, wherever it's, it's better for you, depending on what you're doing and use you get this what well, this is a stamping up scoreboard but you get plenty of scoreboards similar to this um from anywhere so what i want to do is i think i'm going to put a couple of lines just down here so obviously this will be the de the debossed side so i want it to be turned over to be the emboss so i want to do it on the 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 side that's it doesn't matter which side, but that side, the edges are flatter, although you can flatten them with your bone folder. So I'll turn it over because I want my embossing to be on the, if you see what I mean, the other side. Whereas if you did it the other way, it would be debossed. So it's, it's entirely up to you. So what it is, it's just a few wee lines, just down here. No particular oh, watch it does it doesn't move. I'll try and keep it straight. Um I'm using the no I'm using the smaller end and then just another line down there. And then I'm gonna turn it round and I'm gonna do the same at this edge. So I'm just going to start here. Then here, and then just here. I'll try and hold that in place like that, and then I'm going to turn it again, and I'm going to do it roughly. Let me think. So I'll start at that edge. Start that. This. So I'm I'm basically leaving like a, a sixteenth, is it, or an eighth in between? Hmm. Not doing them. I'm not doing like one eighth. Um, every way round. I'm basically leaving like a an eighth in between each score. That one, I'll try not to move it, surely. And then the last one, like that. There we go. And then if you turn it round, it's embossed. Whereas if you'd done it on that side, it would be debossed. You see what I mean? But I wanted it the embossed. So that's fine. So that's another way you can use embossing as well you don't have to just use your embossing folders but obviously embossing folders are great because they've got so much they've got a nice pattern of whatever it is but that is a different way of doing it so I'm going to pop this together and I want to round the corners so I've couldn't find my corner rounder so I've got this 
envelope maker um, which I'm going to just round my corners with that so this bit here will round your corners for you okay Done. So I want to do all the layers, the matte layers, and the card base as well, with the corners rounded. It just kind of gives it a much nicer look, or a different look. There we go. And just move that back to the side. Get rid of these bits and then we can start popping it together. So that one I did um, standing up this way. I can't remember if that's um, portrait or portrait car style card. This one I'm going to do opening to the out to the left. So it's just a case of mat layering these up and compiling my card. Um, Put all the measurements in the description box and everything that I've used um, as well. And <coughs> Got a bit of a mark on it there. Keep on, what is it? I don't know. Right, I'll just let this pull that down there then. I use this glue so much that I'm running out of it. So that just goes on the top and there'll be a little border. <coughs> Excuse me, I have got a frog in my throat. For some reason, so just touch that up like so. There we go, that should look fine. Yep. And then we can think about how we're going to pop these on now. So with the other one I did a sort of cascade coming down like so. This one I think I might try and do slightly different. Still want the kind of red, red, black. Oh. So maybe I could do two, three, five and seven like that. And I can pop something, might have to pop them slightly higher up. Um, because I want to put a wee bit of a sentiment on there as well. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Or shall I do the hand as if it's a hand of cards? That would be nice. Maybe. Yeah, in the middle. Like that. That would be quite nice. And then pop. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. So, just let me see. So, we'll start with the two there. that down slightly mind mm. 
Yeah, it's a bit too high. Let's see if we can peel it back slightly. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. See if I can cover it with something. Might have to do two of these. See what we can do. So, um, we'll pop that one there so that kind of goes over like that. What I'll do once the glue's dried, I'll rub it off with a glue rubber. That should be okay. Let's just see before I stick this right down, make a mess of it so that it kind of needs to go like that. And then, let me see, so probably more like that. And then, yeah, that's better. And then this one, just so it looks like a hand of cards. I'm going to try and keep that glue, so what did I see? That was going to go kind of like that. And then that would be... Let me see. Like... Yeah, that'll do. That's when a glue rubber is really handy. Um, I never used to have a glue rubber and then I remember somebody saying oh we'll use a glue rubber and I thought what's that and then I found out and it is really good if you leave the bit to dry and just give it a wee bit of a rub it should should come off yep. but I mean I might not need to it might be okay so there we go. So now we've got our greeting. So I thought I might just pop that on the bottom here, just like there. But I want to back on a bit of gold. So we'll just quickly stick that onto the gold. And then we can add the happy birthday with um I'm gonna do black memento, but it probably would have been nice and red. I don't have red ink on the table and I don't really want to hunt for it because it's not at hand so I'll pop that on there I'm just going to cut this up this, this, this bit here and then I can just that's better and then I can chop that off And just open this bit up, hopefully. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'm not playing about with it because if I start doing that, I'll mess it up. And then I just pop this. So I've got happy birthday. Oh, there's a, a retired stamp from Stamping Up from Blossoms in Blue. And I actually cut it because I was trying to do it yesterday with. And I thought, oh no, I need to cut it because it actually came as a full stamp like that. So I cut it in half because, well, it's my stamp and I needed to. So, you know, if you ever need to cut your stamps in half, they are your stamps. So just, you know, cut them if you need to. So, no, oh, that one's not stuck very well. That's it. And then I've just got some black memento. I could have used red, which would have been nice for a change. Now these have I don't think that's stuck properly yet. Are you with me for a minute? Because I don't think it's quite on that one. That's it. So I've not long inked these memento inks, so let's hope. I don't smudge it, so just stamping onto this wee bit here. Just wait for a few seconds and then lift it up. It should go 
rough, that's okay. It's a bit the same smeared as it was yesterday, but I think that's just because it's quite juicy. Um, and yeah, no, it's fine. It's not too bad. And then all I did was add it to the front of the card. And that's it. And I mean, I've got these these wee off cuts of obviously from the die cuts, which you could. That's another thing you could do, or I could do. Uh, just wipe that away. Is I could add a few of them if I wanted. I've got like the little speed, so I could put that there, which I might do, just as some else extra. If I can get it off the, just, I'm not very good with tweezers, as you can see. <laughs> so, and I'm using my left hand, so just a wee bit of that, and then I could pop that onto here, oh, the corner, like that, and then I've got a wee bit of the the heart, one of the hearts that came out as well. So I could just not want too much glue. Come on, the glue's being awkward. Well now it'll jump out, see. <laughs> and then you could pop that maybe on there as well. Um and then we've got a little club we could add. glue and that could go in that corner um, and then we've got our diamond oh I'm just hopeless with these <laughs> Because it's on black cord, it's showing up quite a bit of the glue here. But so I'm going to stop there because I am. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and you liked the project. Please let me know if you did. Um, and thank you again for watching. Um, please subscribe, um, share with all your crafty friends and thank you. See you soon. Bye for now.